What's up? Uh, this is how to install fucking this shit. So, first up, all right, you need to have Halo online. Like it's it's obvious. I'll have a file in just in the description of like this with it installed. I'm just saying if you want to fuck with it and have it added to your Halo online, it has to be in like a six point oh or six point one version of Halo online. It can't be in like five point one or something because it's fucking for this version. I don't. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, the first step is, is very simple, you just replace the maps file in here with this one, so you just go boop, and boop, and then you're pretty much good for that one. So then, in the other folder that you'll get from my download link here from this guy, who is working on this mod currently, uh, you get these two items. Now these two items will either, I download them separately from that link, otherwise you might, will, you will only get one. But uh, in here we have items.xml, but the readme shows you where to put them, so it says Halo Online Mods UI Web Screens Forge Object Creation. So um, in your Halo Online folder that you made, it can be anywhere on your desktop or whatever. Uh, you can go to Mods, and then it said UI web screens and then it said forge and then object creation now in here there's items.xml this won't be edited until you place this one in here like you just you just gotta dupe place a file in destination and then you should be uh, a a fucking okay now we can test that and that'll that, I'm not done with the video because we still have to do some more shit because we're, we're not done with it but if we open it, it should work fine already. Um, the part we're missing is going to be the multiplayer part of the mod, like tag dependency and shit. And it needs that so that when you go into a Forge game, it doesn't spawn two of the same AI. Because if you're on a different, uh, like you're not client sided, you'll see two AI instead of one. Because that's just, I don't fucking, because I, I don't know why it does that, but it, it just, you need tag dependency for it. I fucking haven't researched that shit, but I just know that. So. Ah, oh fuck. Okay, so it, it, it loads, right? And now if we host a forward session and we go to any map, we can play on... Some of the maps don't load, like this one. That's why you gotta increase cache memory, which is in my Discord too, but... I don't fucking do that ever, because I just don't fucking need to. I don't play this game that much, and when I do, it's usually on this map. I don't fuck around with that shit. It's not too hard to do. You just paste it into your directory. Alright, so we're on... Uh... Sand Trap here. And now I'm pretty sure if I go like this, fly up here, or something... It, it has nothing to do with that, but if I press X, you'll see we have a thing called Characters. And artificial intelligence. Now I can spawn grunts in. And they're pretty cool, but they fucking shoot. Now there's a way to fix the fact that these AI are on the other team, which you can basically just fuck with that in, in assembly, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. Um, he's kind of a dick, though. So we're just gonna ignore him. Anyways, before I do that, though... Game over. We're gonna need to, uh... We're going to need to um, add tag dependency. Now how you add tag dependency is if you go into the maps folder of your new modded thing. There will be a thing called tag tool.exe. So then you go to Discord, my Discord server, and if you go to tag tool you'll see all this. This is all the tag dependencies it needs. So you can just copy all that right here. Like, like so. Okay. And then you fucking open this shit, right? And now, you have this, so there's an enter, help me, visible, etc. You just click paste, and wait a minute, don't close it though. It, you gotta press enter again. And then... Add it, it'll say add a dependency on all of them. Make sure it's like... You, all the ones you pasted are there, because... Sometimes, you can even just double check by doing this. And just seeing if it already depends, which you can just pay, just paste it twice, basically is what I'm saying. So now that they all depend on each other, it, it should for sure work. There shouldn't be any issues. But uh, the next problem people have on here is like changing the teams of the AI to what they want to be. 
So you can do that with a pretty simple method. You need assembly though for the Halo. I'll, I'll have the assembly. The assembly is linked in my Discord too somewhere, I think. It's in modding tutorials. It's in this right here. So you can get it there. But um Let's see. So basically, once you have assembly, you're just gonna wanna fucking load the shit up in El Dorito, like load El Dorito. And then you can open assembly if you want, wherever you put your assembly. It doesn't really fucking matter, but I'm just saying. Wait for the shit to load. I'm probably not gonna edit this video because I don't feel like it, and I just woke up, but people need to know this, so I'm just helping them. So if you go to Forge, you go to uh, any map really, not Sandbox, don't go to Sandbox. You can go to Sandbox, but I just wouldn't go to Sandbox. You need to find a file, the, 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 the file for Sandbox. So, this will be a temporary change. Um, if you want a permanent change, I'll make that in a different video, but this for now, this is going to be a temper like, in-game for Forge. So if you're in-game, and you are, say, green team, and you want the marines to not, uh, like, to, to fight the covenant, right? You can go to characters, artificial intelligence, you have marine here. You see that this guy is a complete dickhead, and he will shoot you. And So, the way to fix that is to open up assembly, right, and then you're just going to want to open up the uh, Halo Online folder. So you're going to look for, uh, fuck, I named it just Halo Online in this version. And then you can go to your Halo Online folder, go to Maps. And then you'll find the map you're currently playing. Now there's nicknames, so Shrine equals uh, Sand Trap. Zanzibarb equals Last Resort. I know the pit is Cyberdyne. And I know Guardian just fucking, yeah. And then there's uh, River World is Valhalla, but we're on Sand Trap, so we're going to pick Sand Trap's map, I guess. And then it'll load it. And then you're going to go to my Discord. And then... Uh, this one's the marines. That's the one specifically for this tutorial is the fucking marines. And then it'll have what you need to see. So you'll just know what it is. I tried to make shit kind of simple, but I guess it fucking wasn't good enough or something. Um, Alright, so you have the map open. You can go to tags. You can search for your character you want. It's very, this, I know this looks like probably like oh shit to you or something but it, it ain't that fucking hard. Unless you're like a guy who like knows what the fuck. It's, it's very simple actually. Just editing tags but um, see the spawn tag. There's more there's more tags to use here but you can use the green one to because that's that's the ch team green version of it so you can just do that and then you can have it poke your game and that only works if you have tag dependency so be aware of that. So, now if we spawn a marine, he'll be on our team. And if we put him up against, per se, a fucking hunter, um, him and the hunter will fight each other. So, that's pretty neato. Uh, the hunter is kind of retarded. Um, the AI isn't really bright yet, but the dude is making the monster. I'm just showing how the fuck this shit works and how to use it. He's just raping people. So look at him go. Look at him, look at him. Ooh. Look at him. Look. Oh, oh, damn. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, though. So, I'll have a file in the description of this version of the game so you don't have to install anything, but this video is for people who wanna install shit, etc., and just kinda don't get it. So, or how to change TV. It's just all that shit. Basically, all the, all the AI information.